For more on the implications of today's satellite launch, we turn to a leading expert on security and defense issues, Anthony Cordesman of the Center for Strategic and International Studies in Washington. Thanks for being with us once more. What are the military implications of today's launch? Well, as a satellite itself, they're unimportant. It will be years before Iran can have effective intelligence satellites. But as a symbol of the fact Iran is developing more and more powerful long-range missiles, missiles that can reach throughout the Middle East and perhaps beyond, it is important. And it's part of a continuing process of tests of missiles which have longer and longer range, higher and higher payloads, and quicker and quicker reaction times. How quickly can this kind of technology be used to launch or be adapted to launch a nuclear weapon? Would it be months or years? The fact is we really don't know. We do know that Iran has missile warhead designs for a nuclear weapon. It seems to have gotten them through Pakistan. They're actually North Korean copies of a Chinese nuclear weapon. But how quick it is to actually being able to put that on a missile, how able it is to integrate it, have it move through the atmosphere, re-enter the atmosphere, be reliable and hit a target, we simply don't know. It could be a matter of years, but there's no way to be certain. And does today's news up the ante when it comes to the United States and other countries trying to rein in Iran's nuclear program? It's a symbol. It doesn't really change the pace of events. They already tested a new solid-state long-range missile this year. That actually was more important than this test, but this is the one that will get the visibility. And is it possible that a missile of this nature could reach as far as the United States? Not of this nature, no. But it is an indication that Iran could keep scaling up its missile designs to the point where it could hit Europe and possibly the eastern coast of the United States. We need to be careful. In theory, it's easy to keep making a missile larger. In practice, it can be very difficult. And making the nuclear warhead adaptable to fit a rocket like this. How difficult is that? It's extraordinarily difficult. Iran may be able to test a nuclear device within a couple of years, but to actually make it into a warhead that's reliable and safe to use, that functions very precisely at the exact moment at the speeds missiles close, that's a major challenge. Anthony Cordesman, thank you very much. Thank you.